All right, guys, so it's been a while, but we're finally back with a not brand new cereal, but it's new to me, you know, but I've had it for like a month and a half now and I still haven't tried it because I've been waiting to make this video and I just haven't felt like making it. But here I am wanting to make the video. Drumstick cereal. Da -da -da -da. Right, and we got the the cream of land milk. I used to only drink Stewart's milk, but I've begun to just not would not be good. I, I'm well into it. I, I just drink whatever milk is available now. Um, no stewards in the city, sadly. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so we got the classic vanilla flavor. It's got the ice cream scoops. It's got the cocoa nuggets and the cone cereal pieces. So let's see how it goes. I've heard uh, mixed reports on these, so. Smell test? It smells like Play-Doh. <laughs> I've never really been one for eating Play-Doh, so this might be appetizing for some. Uh, I'll, I'll take out a handful, show you guys what's up. Ah. All you see is the flakes. All right, let me move some. These kind of look like Cinnamon Toast Crunch Flakes without the frosting. The flakes don't taste too good. The cocoa nugget does taste good. So that's a good sign. And then the cocoa nuggets kind of taste like chocolate teddy grams, which is pretty good. Ice cream flavored scoop, here we go. It's all right. All right. Let's just see how it is in the bowl. <laughs> yeah, this stuff looks pretty gross, I gotta be honest. Let's see how the milk goes in. Ah. See? This is why you always clear the cap of the milk crust. I didn't do it here, big mistake. Cause you get nasty stuff like this. All right, it's in. Let's see how this goes. All right. First bite. Well, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna let it marinate in the in the milk for a little bit. I already gave it a dry taste test, so we got that covered. Oh, piece fell out. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. It's good. There's nothing groundbreaking about it though. I feel like I've had this cereal before and it's nothing like, e even though I feel like I've had it before, wh whatever I had before that tastes like this, that's pretty, it's pretty all right too. It's nothing great. So this is like, it tastes familiar and it doesn't even taste like something familiar. It doesn't taste familiar to something that's amazing. So it's just, Pretty mediocre all around. But it also doesn't really taste like drumstick ice cream that much. Um, yeah, I, I think this is kind of a poor cereal right here. Cool idea. They should transfer more ice creams to cereals. Don't let this discourage you guys, General Mills or Kellogg's. But they recently closed the Kellogg store in Union Square, New York City. I'm really sad about that. Shed a tear for that. Um, really sad. <laughs> That's where I got the 
materials from an infamous Barnes & Noble spill video, which, you know what, I should throw a clip of that into this video so you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, well overall, mediocre cereal, not great or bad, um, tastes familiar, doesn't taste like drumstick ice cream, yeah, that's it. I was using whole milk if you want to compare, by the way. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Just realized I made the mistake of not uh, filming the milk test, so I'm about to finish this bowl. And by the way, I do not, I don't know if I said this in the clips prior, I do not recommend this cereal. It's just not worth it. Buy something else, buy some Reese's Puffs, some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Some special K blueberry with lemon clusters. Anything but this. That you really should try that special K blueberry with lemon clusters though, because that is a crazy cereal. It tastes like a blueberry muffin from Dunkin' Donuts with splashes of lemon thrown in. The milk is actually really good. So, maybe I take back the don't buy the cereal, maybe buy it just to try the milk. But besides that, no. All right, see you next time.